Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and today we are live with NXT, the first show in the post-Worlds Collide area where we saw the very best NXT 2.0 had to offer go against the very best at NXT UK. It was a very special night. If you missed it, it is live on the channel. But we're going to kick it off with a man who made shockwaves in NXT thanks to his actions in the main event, Roderick Strong, the leader of Diamond Mind. And if you notice, Strong's jacket does not have the Diamond Mind symbol on it. I wonder if this is a foreshadow as to what this man has to say. But at Worlds Collide, he turned his back on the Creed brothers. He betrayed his Diamond Mind members and cost them a chance to finally win gold. We have not seen the Creed brothers win championship gold here in NXT. They've been close on numerous occasions just to be screwed each time. And they could were on their way to potentially winning the UK Tag Team Championships when Roderick Strong showed up and cost them the match. We're going to hear from Roderick Strong, hear what he has to say, and see if he can explain his actions. When I formed Diamond Mind a year ago, the goal was to prove who the best wrestlers were in NXT. I took it upon myself to go out and find the best wrestlers on this brand and mold them into diamonds. And when it came down to business, it was about grinding in the gym day in and day out to accomplish our mission and show who we are. And for a while, that's what we did. But in the last few months, something changed. That change was the Creed Brothers. Instead of grinding in the gym, they now go out for autograph signings and pander to the fans. They've lost sight of the mission and as a result have failed. And instead of coming to me for advice, they decide to figure it out on their own. Do you know who I am? I am Roderick Strong. I am the leader of Diamond Mind. I have been a headliner for this brand for the past six years. I was a part of the most dominant faction in NXT history. And instead, you want to go figure it out on your own? No, it doesn't work like that. So it was time to teach them a lesson. And that lesson happened before Worlds Collide when I did what I did. Remember when I was ta attacked backstage? Did anyone ever find that footage? No, no one ever found it because it was I was never attacked. That's right, it was all a setup. So the moral of the lesson, never turn your back on your mentor. And because the Kree brothers have, Diamond Mind is no more. Now, the Kree brothers will find out what happens when you bite the hand that feeds you. Well, it looks like Diamond Mind is officially over thanks to Roger Strong's despicable actions at Worlds Collide. But we have a show to get to. And Alpha and Blade will take on the Grizzly Young Vets in tag team action. Caden Carter will battle Fallon Henley. Akeem Jiro will go up against Vaughn Wagner. Then we'll see Cora Jade versus JC Jan in one-on-one action. Our main event, Carmelo Hayes versus Cameron Grimes. Renew a rivalry as champion versus champion. And Alfie and Blade get the tag team victory. Caden Carter beats Fallon Henley. And then Vaughn Wagner picks up a big victory. Now time for Cora Jade versus JC Jane. NXT Women's Division action here, and here comes a lady who potentially could be next in line for a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. Cora Jade makes her way to the ring. We saw Cora Jade a couple weeks ago interrupt Toxic Attraction's post-match beatdown and take it to Toxic Attraction, sending a message that I want the next title shot she has already beaten Gigi Dolan a couple weeks ago on NXT, the last NXT before Worlds Collide. And right here tonight, she has a chance to take down another Toxic Attraction member in JC Jane. It is time for the Dominant Trio to make their way to the ring. Three ladies who have been practically untouchable in NXT, led by Mandy Rose, the NXT Women's Champion, and now... Once again, the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship belts are around the waist of Toxic Attraction. Now two-time NXT Tag Women's Tag Team Champions. JC Jane in the middle. Gigi Dolan on the left. Mandy Rose on the right. The leader with the gold. It's going to be a tough task for Cora Jade. And she has to take on JC Jane. Try to notch another member of Toxic Attraction in the books. As not many people have been able 
to stand up to Toxic Attraction. We've seen multiple women try. We've seen Wendy Chu, we've seen Raquel Rodriguez, we've seen Dakota Kai, and countless others, and nobody's been able to solve how to beat Toxic Attraction. But Core J against JC Jane one on one here tonight, and we are ready to kick off the action. Core J will take a hold of JC Jane, drag her into the corner. This is a big match for JC Jane. We know, talked about how she already owns a singles win over Gigi Dolan. If she's able to beat JC Jane here tonight, then Core Jade is practically in line for the next title shot at NXT for the NXT Women's Championship. We are hearing that is going to probably take place at the next NXT TV special. The Great American Bash will be coming live here on the channel July 5th. It is a TV special, and it looks like Core Jade versus Mandy Rose will probably happen at that event as long as Core Jade can get past JC Jane here tonight. But JC Jane, with a nice power move right there, is in control of this matchup now. Now she just picks Corey Jade right off the mat. Has her on her shoulders and a running power slam to Corey Jade. Nice start here by Jane. Displaying the power game. And again just picks Corey Jade up off the mat. And another running power slam delivered. As now she hits the ropes and goes for a big splash. But Cora moves out of the way just in the nick of time. But Jane will look to keep control. Now a two-time NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Briefly lost the title for about 20-something days. Was able to regain the gold on an episode of NXT. So all is right in the Toxic Attraction camp. They have all the gold here in NXT. And we'll see. It seems like Cora Jade is the next in line. Can she finally put a chink in the armor as Jane goes for a cover here? Quick kick out, though, by Cora Jade. Well, Mandy Rose is entering pretty elite territory with the NXT Women's Championship. She's been champion for over 200 days now. Nobody's been able to beat her for that championship. We've talked about all the names that she's beaten. Raquel Rodriguez, Dakota Kai, Wendy Chu, Alba Fire. I mean, you name them. Wendy, Mandy Rose has put down quite a bit of women here. But Cora Jade, she could have that missing piece. You know, we've seen her in the past. NXT stand to deliver. Had a fatal four-way opportunity. Was unsuccessful that night. We haven't seen Cora Jade go one-on-one -on -one against Mandy Rose. So we'll have to see what happens if they are to lock it up. But right now, Jane going for a cover gets two, but Cora Jade kicks out. She's got to get past JC Jane here tonight, who's looked very good in this contest. Now lining up Cora Jade. What does Jane have in mind here? Comes out of the corner, looks for a big boot. Don't think she had quite the extension on it. instead kick to the midsection now picks her up on her shoulders and hits a spin out power bomb to Cora Jade this should be enough to put away Jade but no a kick out at two keeps this match alive well, I don't think she really got all of the big boot there but nice change of plans I guess nice audible to switch to the sit out power bomb and almost got her the victory but this could be an opening now for Cora Jade to get back in this action. Knocks Jane off her feet. Then a foot stop for good measure. Trying to get the NXT faithful behind her. And get back into this matchup. Jane makes her way to her feet. Cora with a nice right hand shot. Will drop her right back down. And she starts to drag. Looking maybe for a pinfall here attempt. Maybe wasting a little too much time. Now is going to go for it. Ref in position. But a quick kick out by Jane. One thing you got to keep an eye on in this matchup. Core J starting to get some momentum, but there are two women on JC Jane's side on the outside. Toxic Attraction at ringside for this contest. They have not made a presence in this match just yet, but if we're thinking about the Toxic Attraction we've seen in the past, it might only be a matter of time. While Core Jade, on the other hand, is going at this one solo. Nobody in her corner here tonight, and she is having to take on JC Jane all by herself. Is now a quick cover, but a foot is underneath the rope so quickly Jane will have to break that attempt I'm trying to lock on a submission here trying to wear down the competitor as JC Jane looks to notch a victory Cora J looking to submit here has the knee in the spine instead will just give it up and JC Jane will continue to taunt away show off her power game we've seen plenty of power from Jane here tonight looks very impressive she gets Cora Jade back on her feet. What she have in mind here? Going to go for another power move. And it's going to be a backbreaker for good measure. Stretching the spine across the knee. Which is putting some damage on her opponent. 
And now just a little bit of arrogance on display here. Toxic Attraction, never been known for not showing their arrogance. Very arrogant, very full of themselves. Now it goes for another cover here and gets two, but Jay kicks out at two and a half. I think the ref's hand was coming down for three, but if Jane wasn't taunting away, she might have been able to put Cora away there, but now she's going to line her up again for this big boot. Unable to connect the first time, and it doesn't look like she's going to connect again, so I'm not entirely sure what Jane is trying there. And now this time, this could be the opening that Cora needs. Has Jane, and is going to plant her with the Bulldog into the mat. That big boot miss, I guess, just didn't get full extension. Could be the opening that Cora needs. And now she drops Jane. Now goes for a cover here. Gets one and gets two. And no, Jane shoots the right shoulder up. I thought Cora Jade was going to get the victory there. Almost took advantage. But now she has the momentum. Got to stay on your opponent here. You're very close to putting her away. Gonna whip her into the corner and gets her nice running knee strike. Jane goes down. Get her back up on her feet. Now Cora up to the second rope and a drop kick drops Jane to the mat. Cora quickly goes to the turnbuckle again. JC Jane in the drop zone and Cora's gonna go for a big splash. Connects off of the top rope. Need to go for the cover here. Wasting a little bit too much time. Goes for it now. Gets one. Gets two. And it will be enough. Cora Jade picks up the victory over JC Jane. And it was all because of that missed time boot. We saw it twice. I don't know if you want to use that repertoire, but Cora Jade saw the opening, was able to take it, notches the victory. And I think she now has a future date with Mandy Rose for the NXT Women's Championship. Big win. Here for Cora here tonight gets to celebrate as two members of Toxic Attraction have been knocked down. And now it's time to take out the leader. Now, wait a minute now. Toxic Attraction in the ring. Gigi Dolan with a kick to the midsection. This is what we were waiting on. Toxic Attraction not very happy with the loss. Is going to take out frustration on Cora Jade. I mean, the match is over. This one, Cora Jade is your winner. But I think now this is just about softening up the challenger for a future title opportunity. But Cora Jade trying to fight back. Shots to Gigi. Backs up JC. But now Dolan will whip her into the corner. And the numbers of Anna's just too much. We talked about it. Cora Jade by herself having to take on both members of Toxic Attraction at the same time. A suplex attempt. And Cora goes down on the mat. And now JCJ mentioning for a chair. Gigi throws a chair into the ring. This is bad news for Cora Jade. As JC Jane looks to wheel the chair. But wait a second. That's Roxanne Perez in the ring now for the save. She has a hold of the chair. And Toxic Attraction is sent running. So Cora Jade does have some backup in the back. Roxanne Perez has seen enough. And she's tired of Toxic Attraction. And she's at the side of Jade. Now it's time for our main event of the evening. And making his way to the ring first is the new European champion. That's right, Carmelo Hayes has gold around his waist. The A-champ is back in NXT. But this time, it's with the European Championship. For the very first time in history, the European Champion is here on NXT. Carmelo Hayes at Worlds Collide was able to beat Noam Dar for that title. And a big win for Hayes. Steals a championship away from NXT 2.0. And now he has a chance tonight. We will see champion versus champion. An old rivalry renewed here. As Hayes makes his way into the ring. And awaits the arrival of his challenger tonight. His opponent is none other than the reigning NXT North American champion, Cameron Grimes, who won this match, who won the title in a ladder match at Stand and Deliver a couple months ago. And who was the champion that night? Well, it was Carmelo Hayes. So last champion versus the new champion. As Cameron Grimes gets another opportunity to beat Carmelo Hayes because Car Carmelo Hayes was never pinned for the North American Championship. He lost it in a ladder match, and Carmelo Hayes actually holds a pinfall victory over Cameron Grimes back to NXT Vengeance Day back in February. So Cameron Grimes would love to notch a win over the former champion here tonight. He makes his way to the ring. We get ready for our main event here on NXT.
When out his time, it is Carmelo Hayes, the European champion, versus Cameron Grimes, the North American champion. Champion versus champion here on our main event. And here we go. The old rivalry brought back for another chapter. And a fast start. Cameron Grimes already has Carmelo Hayes up and hits him with a running power bomb into the ropes, though. So Carmelo Hayes will have the rope break. But a fast start here for the North American champion, who we've mentioned never holds a pinfall victory over Carmelo Hayes. So despite the fact he is won the championship and he's made successful championship defenses in the past. I mean, Cameron Grimes has a win over Wesley. He has a championship defense over Santos Escobar at In Your House. But Cameron Grimes, to solidify his reign, some people say he needs to beat the former champion, which he has never done. So he has a chance tonight to finally erase those critics. But it's against the A champ, he likes to call himself, Cam or Carmelo Hayes who now is the new European champion. We're hearing that Nariam Dar, the former champ, who only held the gold for only about 13 days. Actually, 11 days, excuse me, even shorter. 11-day title reign for Noam Dar, but you know he was the last ever Heritage Cup champion before that. Noam Dar did beat Rob Van Dam, out of all people, to win that gold. We're hearing that he does want another shot at the European Championship. Not sure when that match will take place. But Noam Dar has called for a rematch, and he will get it at some point. Meanwhile, back in the ring, a couple of strikes now. Cameron Grimes backs up Hayes and hits a shot to the face. While Cameron Grimes, on the other hand, goes for a cover now, gets one. And Hayes will kick out at one. Well, Cameron Grimes was not a part of Worlds Collide as well, and that might be a little bit of a slap or a little bit of disrespect to the North American champion because it's supposed to be the very best the NXT 2.0 has to offer versus the very best of NXT UK. And some can argue that Cameron Grimes is one of the best superstars here in NXT 2.0. Has all the momentum. He's former million dollar champion as well. He hit it big. And he likes to say he's taken his career to the moon now. So Cameron Grimes is not a part of that pay-per-view. Is trying to make a statement saying that he was supposed to be a part of it. But Carmella Hayes right now takes Grimes down into the armbar transition. This is not good news for Cameron Grimes. This is not where you want to be. He quickly gets out of it. Now has a hold of Carmelo Hayes. Hits a nice Spanish fly there. That's the move to get you back into it. Goes for a cover now. This could be enough to put away. Hayes gets two, but Hayes does kick out at two and stays alive in this contest. Trick Williams is at ringside for this contest. Has yet to make a presence in this one, but he is always going to be where Carmelo Hayes is. So if you're dealing with Hayes, you're probably going to have to deal with Trick Williams at some point. But right now, Cameron Grimes in control of this contest. And right as I say that, Williams up on the apron to distract Grimes. Momentarily bought into it, but not big enough as Grimes is going to keep his eye on the prize. But now Carmelo Hayes will be opening. Hits a knee strike right to the face. Down goes Grimes. And Hayes quickly up to the top rope. This is not where you want to be. Grimes starting to stir. Hayes up and goes for the big leg drop. I don't think he caught all of it. I think he might have grazed the top of the head. But is it enough? Might have not Grimes out. Gets two, but no Grimes does kick out. Well, Williams did give the opening to Carmelo Hayes. Hayes almost connected. I think if he would have got full extension on that leg drop, I think if he would have hit all of it, that would have been the one, two, three. Instead, though, only grazed Cameron Grimes. And Grimes stays in this contest, but Hayes back on the offense. Drop kick to the back of the spine now in the corner. Hayes showing a little bit of confidence. We have the A-champ back, and we have the A-champ on full display. That is arrogance and cockiness and all. Gets a hold of Grimes now. Try has him up on his shoulders. What is Hayes thinking here? He's going to hit him with a nice cutter attempt. Beautiful maneuver there by Carmelo Hayes. Now quickly going to go for the pinfall here on Grimes. Hold up. Feet on the ropes. The ref, do you not see the feet? And it gets him the win. Hayes Hello with the everybody. victory. This Thanks to Mr. a little Robin bit of assistance from that NXT, second row. The first show in the Hayes post able to knock off Grimes by a hook saw or by Crook. The very best but NXT again, Grimes the unable NXT to beat UK. Carmelo Hayes here special tonight. Night. If you missed it, it is live the means, on the win channel. It is a win. We're going to kick it off with a man who made shockwaves in NXT thanks to his actions in the main event. Let's figure out Roderick for both Superstars. Strong, a good matchup 
unfortunately, that was ended. You notice a little bit. Strong's jacket measures does not have the diamond mine symbol. Thought a little desperate. This is a best shot. Unable to get the victory. What Hayes has to say? Celebrate says, "Hey, worlds collide." He turned his back. It doesn't matter how you win the match. He betrayed his diamond mine members. Is they lost in a chance Hayes to cannot finally win gold. Victory. We have not seen Over the Crew Brothers win championship gold here, here tonight. See this celebrate on numerous in occasions our main event just to be screwed each Hayes. time. And they could were on their way Heads to potentially the win the and UK that's about Tag all we have time for you guys here in this one. Strong as, wait a second, that's Grayson Waller. Waller we're here from Roger Strong. Hayes now in the ring, attacks Cameron Grimes. Come on now, Waller, what is this all about? But wait a sec, Hayes back in the ring. He's fighting Waller, backing up Waller, up against the ropes. A clothesline sends Grayson Waller over the ropes. Carmelo Hayes with the save, and look at this stare down. Cameron Grimes and Carmelo Hayes. Now Hayes will get out of the ring. So interesting development here. But that's all we have time for this one. Hayes with a save, but a nice icy stare down to end the night. Well, next big event for NXT the Great is the NXT Great American Bash. The TV special will be live here on July 5th on the channel. You don't want to miss it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for the support recently. Last week has been incredible for the channel. And I can't thank you guys enough. But... If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more Universe Mode content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.